Hey guys, so today's video will be my recent Colourpop haul video So I got everything right here Most of the product that I'll be showing in this video is actually what I got as my early advance birthday present from my dad So basically my dad paid for almost all of this And so basically this video is kind of sponsored by my dad <laughs> So I ordered them on 22 October and it arrives to me on 2 November so it took around a week and a half for it to arrive to Japan so I ordered that Lush Empty Palette the Yes Please Palette and then two of these um, Quad Eyeshadow Palette and four of these Pen Powder Blushers and then two Ultra Bolted Lip and I also bought this Super Shock Shadow and nine Single Press Powder Eyeshadow so I'm going to swatch all of them and I'm going to give review on what I thought about them. So I'm going to split this video into two videos because I think that if I swatch all of these, like this video will be too long and I have to go out after this to have dinner with my friend and watch movies. So I don't have enough time to swatch all of them today so I'm going to split this video into two. So for today's video, I'm going to swatch the blushers the super short shadow and the ultra blotted lips and then in my next video i'm going to swatch all of this eyeshadow including the yes please eyeshadow palette honestly i really really love colourpop i think it is one of my top favorite brand because i think they sell a really high quality makeup with a really really affordable price so that's why i love them but the only little thing that i don't really like about colourpop is that the swatches of their product on their website is always different with how the product itself looks so it's kind of make it hard to decide which one to buy whenever you know i'm on their website but still i love everything that i bought so yeah so the first thing that i wanted to swatch is their blusher i'm so excited with their blusher because i'm someone that really love blusher so i bought four pen blusher and it retail for seven dollars each if you buy it in pen but if you buy them in compact it will retail for a dollar each and they all come with this little sleeve i already took the blusher out obviously and it is 7 gram or 0 0.25 ounce which is kind of a good amount of product so there are currently 11 shades available and i only bought four of them all of the blushers are matte which i personally love i don't really like the shimmer blushers so i put them all in my colourpop lush empty palette which retail for ten dollars because i love seeing all of them together like this and it is easier for me when i'm doing my makeup i just can grab one palette and i got every blush that i will ever needed especially when traveling i love putting them all together in one palette like this and i also put these two blusher from their the no out and double play palette which i love i really really love both of this blusher that's why i decided to buy their single um blusher and i'm going to swatch all of this blusher because when i was deciding which shade to buy the other day i cannot find any review on them at all so it's kind of hard to you know decide whether the shade look good or not so that's why i end up only buying four of them and i actually already used this blusher and tested it the whole day that day and i'm actually is also wearing them right now and i can say that i do enjoy using them and i love the formula because it does last quite long on me but it is quite pigmented so you gotta be careful when you apply it but I don't see any problem with that at all i actually love that it is pigmented but you know it's all depend on your preference some people don't really like kind of a really pigmented blush but i'm someone that love a pigmented blush so yeah and i also want to mention that when you dip your brush into the blusher there will be some kick up because it is powdery but to be honest it doesn't bother me at all because the blusher itself is pigmented and it does last long on me 
So for the swatches, since this is a blusher, we don't really apply a lot of blusher on our cheeks. So I'm going to do a finger swatch here and I'm going to do a blended swatch. So you can see how the shade looks like once it is blended. So the first shade is called to the 10. So this is the finger swatches and this is the blended swatches. And according to the website, this shade is described as a neutral warm pink. So the next shade is called romcom. I'm not sure whether I pronounce it correctly or not, but yeah. So this shade is described as a pinky coral. And I think this shade is gonna look great in a deeper skin shade as well. Getting into the brighter color, this one is called Manchik and it is my favorite one out of four of them because I'm so into corally orange blusher and this is described as a true peach shade and to be honest when I see it in the website I thought it's gonna be a true orange shade but it is not but it is still pretty i love how it brightened the cheek and i am actually am wearing it right now and yeah i really do love this last but not least this is the color tulip to quit and it is described as a light terracotta shade this is also one of my absolute favorite i think this is gorgeous as well honestly i think all of the shades are gorgeous you know it just depends on what your preference is and i think this is a great neutral blush that you can use in variety of look especially if you're doing a no makeup kind of makeup look and i also want to quickly talk about these two blusher from the dual powder palette this blusher is from the double play palette and this one is from the knockout palette i adore both of them so much but this shade here from the knockout palette which is called excuse my french is my absolute favorite blusher from all of my collection i love how peachy orange it looks on my skin i basically live breathe die in the shade i love it so much i think it really complements my skin tone and yeah i really just love how it looks like on my skin tone next i'll be swatching their super shock shadow in the shade flipper and it is their ultra metallic finish and it retails for five dollars so as you guys can see it is a soft muted tangerine shade with tons of silver glitter on top so it's basically glitter on steroid for this shade because there's a lot of silver glitter in it it kind of make the shadow look glossy wet which is why i love it so much and i feel like everyone need this shade in a day life like it is so beautiful i just i love the finish so so much so the final product that i'll be switching for this video will be the ultra blotted lips it retails for six dollar each so i bought the shade doozy and double scoop and before this i already purchased the shade zuma and this shade zuma I love it so much that I basically use it every single day when I'm going to school because it's so neutral and I love the formula so much that's why I decided to get this uh, two shade. I love how the formula sits comfortably on my lips and because it is so lightweight whenever I'm wearing it I felt like I'm wearing nothing on my lips which is why I decided to buy another two shade from their ultra bloated lips line and I also love that kind of powdery finish that it gives so this is the swatches for double scoop and this one is the swatches for doozy double scoop is described as a bright coral popsicle kind of shade and a doozy is described as a warm rose shade and I felt like the ultra bloated lips formula is really unique. There is not a lot of brand out there that is doing this kind of formula because I felt like it's kind of like a combination between a lip tint and liquid lipstick. So I guess that is it for what I'm going to swatch in this video. But if you want to see me swatching all of these and you know hear my review on them, please stay tuned to my next video. I'll be swatching all of these on my next video and yeah and also if you want to see how i created this simple eye look you can stay tuned because i'll be showing how i get this eye look after this so i'm going to use 
use this Yes Please palette and I'm going to use this bright yellow shade here I'm so into yellow shade right now and even though it's already fall everyone is into the dark bampy looks already but I don't know but I still felt like I want to do a yellow look even though usually this kind of bright eye look is suitable for summer but you know who cares there is no rule in makeup anyway so I'm going to apply this yellow shade all over my eyelid and because I really want a bright yellow look today I'm going to just tap it like all over my eyelid it's a super simple eye look today so yes i'm just going to tap it like this and girl look at how pigmented it is i love this palette i think they are really really high quality shadow with affordable price so if you can get your hand on it i really recommend you to buy it because it is so good and if you're like me who love warm eyeshadow you gotta love this palette. Next, I'm going to use this muted orange shade. It is called I O U, and I'm just going to apply it all over my lower lashes. Then I'm going to take this super shock shadow in the shade Flipper. It is a really nice like kind of soft tangerine shape with tons of silver glitter on it and i'm going to take it with my fingers and apply it all over my eyelid especially on like the center of my eyelid to give that kind of wet glossy look like look guys look how a shimmer can change your look like seriously Oh, like I really love how that shimmer like glitter just now kind of upgrade that simple eye look that I had and you know it kind of look like you give effort for your eye look even though that's not the case so that's why I really love to add shimmer or glitter on my eye look because I just love anything glittery that's that <laughs> And next to highlight my inner corner, I'm going to use this shade here. It is called Take It Slow. It's kind of like that light champagne shimmer. So it's perfect to highlight your inner corner and your eyebrow. I think that highlighting your inner corner is important on doing eye look because it does change everything. It does give light to your eyes and it does kind of make you look younger a little bit. Just a little bit. So yeah guys, I pop on some mascara and lashes just now off camera and that's basically complete this eye look. I think it's better if I go nearer, right? So yeah, this is my simple bright yellow kind of eye look and, and it is a really really simple eye look which is why I love them. And yeah, I actually am really really loving this eye look right now. It's my first time playing with yellow eyeshadow actually like before this I always avoid yellow eyeshadow because I don't know I think that it doesn't look good on me but now that I play with it I think I am in love. I hope you guys enjoy this really really simple eye look makeup and yeah this is it. So I guess that is it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to click like and subscribe if you guys haven't already and don't forget to watch my next video if you want to see the swatches of this Colourpop press powder shadow and yeah guys I think that is it for today's video. Hope everyone having an amazing day and I actually have to get out right now because I'm having dinner with my friends together and we'll be going to watch Thor today so yeah that is it for today's video. Bye!